Well, we love watching local individuals do great things for God. Local wife, mom, and nationally recognized author and speaker Elena Rarig is taking her passion to see others break free from past struggles and pain to a larger realm. Dancy has the latest with the founder of Box Crushers, which includes some really neat children's books designed to boost self-esteem and confidence. Well, it has been a year since Elena Rarig was here in our studios talking with me. And since that time, I don't know if you can see it yet, but there is a stack of books in front of us. Okay. You have been one busy gal. That I have. Yes. <laughs> I have a lot of passion for what I do. <laughs> I guess you do. You are the founder of Box Crushers. Correct. And um, one of these books here is the original. Um, mm -hmm. And this is the one that you came on the show to talk about um, a year ago. But since then, you have a number of different books, a couple of children's books that we're going to talk about yeah. specifically. So um, how have you been? Good. <laughs> Busy. Yes. <laughs> but I'm, I'm, it's my passion, and I'm on yeah. fire and I'm having fun with it and I feel like God is just flooding my heart my mind and it just keeps coming out so, so is there a main theme to your books there is if the company started again with box crushers mm -hmm. the four box personas you know there should be no box to think outside of mm -hmm. and then from there I didn't want to just tell people what kind of box persona they were so it's like how do we get them past that okay. so that's where the 5d transformation system came in and that's the big white workbook and so then I was, I'm in prison facilities now teaching yes. that. And we're actually venturing into schools. We want to bring self-development, personal development into schools for high school students, colleges, in, as an extracurricular, or not extracurricular, um, elective is yes. what they call that. Yes. So we're working towards that. Well, then people wanted to know who I am, you know, how I know what I know at a young age. Mm -hmm. So the autobiography came out and then with the inmates, I wanted to teach them how to write and publish their autobiography because they have to have a great story to tell. Oh, wow, yeah. And people would be amazed at how far these inmates have come from when they first got incarcerated because mm -hmm. they've been in programming. And they're very intelligent, mm -hmm. they have passion and heart, and their stories need to be told. Mm -hmm. And so I started a publishing company so I could publish their books for next to nothing. And so then I wrote a book on how to write and publish a book. Yes. But then they needed a workbook, so then I have workbooks, and that's what the two big black ones are. So you have a workbook for personal development if you want to write that type of book, and then there's one for if you want to write your autobiography. And you're also a mom. A and a four. Wife. A four, <laughs> yeah. A wife of one, but a mother of four. <laughs> oh, good to know. <laughs> yes. Yeah. But so they all just started happening, and then about a month ago I was driving, I said, I really need to write a children's book. You know, I have the 5D transformation system, and they're mm -hmm. such powerful lessons. And I thought if we could bring them down to a kid level, then I could have a children's book that captures the essence of some of those lessons. So that are, those are my two newest. Okay. And um, this one in green is called I Am Easton. And then you have another one, I Am Tori. Yes. The those are my two youngest children. They are, okay. So are they about your children or you're using their names? I'm using their names. Okay. There are some things in there. One of the things I talk about is dinner time fun mm -hmm. because I have a rule in my house, no fussing at the dinner table. And I mean, it was to a point I actually pulled up third world countries and showed my kids things like this is the food you have to eat and this is the life you get and there shouldn't be that fussing and complaining. And then, you know, how you ask your kid, how was school today? And they say, oh, fine. So I have a whole bunch of games that we play at dinner to keep the conversation flowing. Um, one of them is remember when. So we go around the table and we say, remember when, and it's usually a funny story of what one of us did. And so to explain that game then, I use a live example of remember when and then tell something funny my child did. Nice. So there are some examples from their life, their favorite color, their you know favorite things. Yeah. Um, so no phone zone too at the table? Oh, no phone. Mm -mm. Okay. Nope, not even mine or my husband's. <laughs> yes, because that, yeah. you know, that has become a problem for a lot of families, and um, they need to know how to enter into conversation. Yes, and we actually went as far as, you know, from the time my kids get off the bus until they go to bed, we put the phones away. Now, if there's something very important that somebody mm -hmm. needs to get a hold of us, then, you know, it's out, mm -hmm. but we don't sit on it or, 
you know, make it a distraction. Definitely. So, yeah. um, I hate to tell you this, but we are <laughs> running out of time. So um, you have so much that you can offer um, different groups in our area. And again, these books are on the market now, too. They are. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, where can we find you? ElenaRare.com. That's Very it. Simple. Uh -huh. Okay, and then that's also the way to order the books if anyone's interested in purchasing. Yes, there's a tab for Otter Publishing New York, which okay. Otter Publishing, again, that's a dear story to my heart. It's okay. not that I think otters are cute, but there is, a, <laughs> there is a tab on there, and that's where they'll find my books. Okay. Mm -hmm. Elena, thank you so much for being with us, and um, Merry Christmas and Happy New Year to you. You too. Thank All right. you. Thanks. Back to you, Jen.